We are right at uh, Mr. Mshitu's house and we have just uh, followed up our, our brother in the Lord to actually hear the testimony that he has for the Lord. And please our viewers, you need to understand that the testimonies that we bring across to you is not to the glory of any man or to the fame of anyone, but it is to the glory of the name of Jesus Christ. Um, so that anyone who could be in the same situation like what our brothers passed through will be able actually to to get and also be helped in a in a certain way. So, Mr. Mushito, yes, sir. please feel very much free. Your testimony is able to help somebody. Mm -hmm. Please introduce yourself and the person is sitting next to you. Okay. Tell us where you stay and what you do in life. Okay. Please, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Pastor. My name is um, Mushitu, or where I've come to. This is my residential place. Okay. It is my house. Um, you can speak up so that we can hear you. Oh, okay, thank you. I actually work at the border. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a caring agent. So, um, the testimony you want to talk us about is of which year? Okay, the testimony actually is for this year, but I want to to start by saying that uh, I've been diagnosed with uh, sugar diabetes for three and a half years now. For the past three and a half years? Yes, for the past three and a half years. Okay. But um, I want to tell you that um, this year, in April, yes, uh, in um, February, I mean, mm -hmm. I was very sick. The countings, or rather the readings of uh, the, my sugar diabetes, it is uh, skyrocket up to um, fit. So, the readings. You mean your sugar levels? Yes, I mean escalated. The sugar escalated up to seven thirty. And what's the normal one? The normal mm -hmm. one is actually uh, 4.5 or 5. 4.5. Yeah, 4.5. And then it shoot. It, it had to shoot up, up to, to that fit. far. Ah. Yes, and um, I want to tell you that um, I was in a coma. The family... Before we go that, yes. uh, when it shoot mm. to fit, yes. were you taking your medication properly? Yeah. Yes, uh, it's something that really... It surprised me as well because I was actually placed on the metformin uh -huh. and down nail. Okay. Those are the medication that that actually given to the hospital. Okay. Yeah, but uh, those tablets could not help me. You sure? Yeah. So now, in February this year, 2023, mm -hmm. my situation actually uh, deteriorated that uh, I even reached an instant of. Uh, the family actually took me to the hospital and I was in a coma. Okay. Yes, and they placed me to what, what do we call this? Oxygen surgery. The oxygen. I was in the ICU. The the yeah. Okay. That yeah. was really bad. Very bad. Okay. Mm. So I was okay a bit, but I, I was brought back. Thereafter, the situation again became so worse. Became so worse again. So worse. Somebody introduced me to Pastor Siambango. Okay. Yes. So I didn't have uh, the number, the contact detail for this pastor. So now this person actually gave me the number. And please, this uh, this prophet does pray for people, and uh, there are a lot of people who have actually got healed. Okay. That's how I contacted uh, Pastor Siambango. Um. I called him that uh, pastor I'm dying here I could not use so many words so many words I just told him to say I'm dying here please come and pray for me and pray for that me. was mm -hmm. um, February 2023 this very year this very year yes that's how I called him and uh, he never even hesitated he said okay I'm coming I don't know the program that he had but he he simply said I'm coming Okay. And he definitely came. Mm -hmm. This room, there were a lot of people by then. Not that maybe those people they came to see 
uh, how the pastor is going to pray for me. But they just came. To... Just hold on, because when we came, mm. we found you inside. Mm. I think uh, there is uh, a man that we were moving with by the name of Brother Kasele. Please just yes. sit here to the, the yes. pocket. You can just be there, my brother. Don't okay. worry. So that people can uh, see you. Yes. I think you were the one that you were moving with when we, we came at this uh, place to come and play for, to pray for our brother here. What situation did you notice when we were just outside there? Yeah, when we reach there outside, we find there's a certain lady seated at the Speak door. out, we can't hear you. There's a certain lady seated at the door. Uh -huh. So when we reach at the door, that lady, we find the, that person crying. Crying? Yes. Like somebody's dead? Yes. Okay. Hey, just maybe to, to add on, mm. uh, so not, not just a lady, because when you say lady, simply means alone. Mm. But there were quite many. There were many actually? Yeah, yes. there were many here mm -hmm. in the room. Because when you arrived, I was at the bedroom there. Mm -hmm. So people are just waiting here. Yeah. Maybe just to, yeah, just to, just to, to wait, what, what, what time this person is going to die? To die in the so life. Like we started crying. We started crying. Yeah, the, but um, fortunately enough, when they called me, I said that the pastor has come, he's actually in the sitting room. I came here. I hardly eat food, no drink water. And, and, and to be honest, uh, when we came, it was hot, despite February, but it was sunny. Yeah. But we found you in a blanket. Yes. What was happening? I felt very cold. I was very... I f the, the, the feeling... I'm telling you, I don't know how I can explain this. It was... I was feeling cold. I could put something which is warm, but... Uh, so that was due to the escalated levels of sugar. Due to the escalation of the sugar levels. Despite taking medication. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Then uh, you asked me a simple question. You said, do you believe? In fact, before you even asked this question, you asked me, do you eat food? I said, uh, these days I don't eat food. For the past one week and three days, I neither eat food nor drink water. You even said, ah, now how do you survive? I said, I just survive like this. So you asked the question to say, do you believe that Jesus can heal you? I responded to say, yes, he can heal me. Okay. You further said, today you are going to eat. You and going to eat. during that week, mm. what was happening if you take food, you drink water? Yeah. What happened was that um, whenever I drink something, I, 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 I eat food, I vomit. Mm -hmm. I take in water, I equally vomit. So there is nothing that I could eat by that time. So meaning you were still For a week. For a week. Two days. No eating. You tried no to eat, eating, it goes out. No drinking. Okay, thank you. Whenever I try to eat, I vomit. Mm -hmm. Try to drink water, I vomit. Now you can see that if such a person can't do can't eat, no drink, then he, the power becomes, it becomes so you, dehydrated. The becomes very yeah. weak and dehydrated. Yeah, yeah. weak. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So that, that was the situation. So when you, then you, you said, you, tell, you told everyone who, who was there, you say that, you please sit down, we are, we are going to pray. Okay. So you prayed for me. And Where is in the blanket? In the blanket, yeah. yeah. Your colleague was there. Then I, I don't know what happened. I just found myself on the ground. I fell down. Then from there, you told me to say, sit down. I sat. Hmm. Because uh, the prophet had to pray now at that time. Yeah. So the prophet actually prayed. After the prayer, I found myself on the ground. How you found yourself there, I don't know. How I found myself on the ground, I really don't know. Yes, then he, through the help of your colleague, he raised me up, and then he, I sat down in my the, on the seat. Mm -hmm. Then he, thereafter now, yeah. you said, uh, is there any food? Then my sister answered and said, yes, there is food. To give him food. So he said, yesterday he said, yeah, no, even if we give him food, he's going to vomit again. 
Say no, it's not, it's, this time around is not going to work. So others were saying you vomit. Yes. Okay. So um, my sister gave me food. I ate. The way I was eating, mm. um, I had to eat as if I never eaten for the past one year. You see? Yeah, because of that ex- excitement, because I felt very light. What happened with the coldness that we're feeling because when they broke it? That coldness prayer. actually vanished within a twinkling of an eye. I felt very light. Mm. I felt free. I felt, in fact, I even started sweating at that time. Now, we indeed we serve a living God. Yes, as as you can as you can see our viewers to say, no one can make up a thing like that. Mm. Speaking from the facts on the ground, our God is a very big God. Please continue. Then. He, after eating, I myself demanded for more food. Mm-hmm. Yes, I ate again. Then thereafter, I asked someone to bring me water. I took that water. Then I felt like, ah, as if something actually left me. Was That's, the strength restored then? then? Re, uh, the strength actually re, uh, restored just then. then. Just after the prayer, everything restored. restored. I was able to sit down. I was able to eat. Drink and do everything. Just let me ask you this question. In that situation, did you ever dream of coming back to life or what was going on in your mind? No, no, actually, the state which I were by then was a death state. Sure. I could not imagine that I would one day come back to life again. It was a very bad one. Yeah, because I was, uh, the days were just uh, accumulating for me not to eat, not to drink. Mm-hmm. And the strength was going. Down, 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 down. Just like that. Just like that. So I had no hope. Okay. Hope was actually restored upon the prayer. You thank God for that. Yes. Then uh, what I want just to say, to sum up, was that uh, from the time the prophet prayed for me, mm-hmm. up to now, mm. today is 28th of December, 2020. 28th of December, yes. I want to tell you the truth that I never again Mm. went to that extent. I never again felt like my sugar has risen to that 34, whatever. You have never been bed first? I never went that far. We thank God for that. I even went as far as uh, Uganda. I even came back from Uganda. I told my pastor, my prophet, mm-hmm. my prophet, I'm still fine, I'm okay. He mm-hmm. said, maybe you are still, you feel here and there. I said, no, 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 I'm okay. Up to now, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. From the lo- time I was the looking prophet. at you, even the body itself can tell. Yes. To say, indeed, this man has, has recovered and the like. I want to tell everyone right now who is actually listening to this testimony mm-hmm. that our God is a God of impossibilities. For sure, for sure, for sure. Why you think that... Uh, uh, there is no hope of what of, of any kind. Mm. That's now God that restores. That's where God comes. Our God is a God of restoration. He is a restoration God. We thank God for that. Today, as I speak right now, I'm working. You are working. I am able to do whatever I could not do. And you see in your sight, could you tell to say, yes. here the Lord has worked a marvelous way. I am telling you, this God, so, Mr. Mushito, I don't know what to describe him now. Mr. Mushito, finally, um, seeing what the Lord has done in your life, yes. how has been your level of faith concerning the God that we serve? The, the, the level of my faith, I don't know how I'm going to describe this, but uh, I want to, to tell you that uh, from the time God actually healed me mm-hmm. up to now, I have more faith. By the way, than how, how are your levels of sugar for art now? It's almost okay. So just almost okay. Almost okay, because sugar, sugar is a complicated uh, a disease for any information. Mm-hmm. When sugar rises, there is nothing that you can do. For sure, I can tell you. You can't even walk. You can't even go somewhere yes. because anything can happen. You can even fall down and then you die. You just die like that. Yes. So Sometimes we... uh, you can just find yourself in the hospital mm. if you are lucky. Yeah, so we are really advised by the medical personnel to say that we need to monitor our sugar most of our time 
But uh, the report, I've just learned that uh, a report of a doctor is different to a report of the Lord. The Lord is, a, you know, when the Bible says, um, by his stripes we are healed. Yes. And in Mark 16, verse 17 and 16, it's from 16 to 18, the Bible says that they shall lay hands on the sick and the sick shall be healed. That scripture, when it talks of the sick, it does not matter the name of the disease. Disease causes sickness. So any cause of sickness is not beyond God. Let me tell you one thing. Mm. As we sum up everything. It's difficult for someone who hasn't gone through this to believe. Yeah. Very, very difficult. That one I can tell you. But to, to me, I speak for myself. Um, I have got all the reason to pray the Lord. Thank you. Because I was in the state very who died. Very deteriorated. I have seen the salvation of the Lord. We thank God for that. No doubt about it. If there is someone who is doubting about the people who are for sugar or whatever, they should go and ask them. They are going to draw how this disease is going. Actually, sugar is the, 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 the deadest killer. Mm. It kills, it doesn't play. We know that. And uh, it's only God that you are who heals like you. Thank you so much for your testimony. Mr. Mushitu, what I can encourage you is when you have seen God working in such a magnitude way, serve the Lord and don't forget Him. Amen. The, children of Israel, the children of Israel, as they were entering the land of Canaan, told them to say, Remember how you suffered in Egypt. Yes. And how the Lord worked miracles, signs, and wonders to take you out of that place. As you enter the promised land, yes. when things are okay, you have eaten and have gotten fatten, and the Lord has blessed you. Remember the Lord your God. Amen. For the last time, what would you want to encourage somebody watching you there? Maybe he's got the same situation about the Lord Jesus Christ. What can you tell about it? What can you encourage them? Thank you very much. What I can just encourage them that time um, is not only sugar. Mm -hmm. Because we, us as human beings, we actually encounter a lot of uh, different uh, uh, situations. Mm -hmm. I, would, uh, I would like to encourage them to, to put all the faith, the trust in the Lord. We thank God for that. Because if you trust God, if you have faith in God, he can't fail us. Yeah. He's going to marvelously restore us. To, he's going to heal us. Mm -hmm. he, 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 we, don't, we don't need to have doubt in such issues. Yes. I would really want to encourage them to put their trust in the Lord. When you put all the trust in the Lord, having total faith to Him, I, I mean in Him, I'm telling you, He's going to heal you. Thank you so no much. What. Thank you so much, Mr. Mshit, for your time. Thank you very much. You see, our God has no boundaries. These names of diseases, whatever name they are called, intimidating they may be, God has never changed an inch. It is our faith that shifts to trust other things, our faith that trusts sometimes in science. Let me tell you this. Doctors, science, they've got a boundary where they end. Mm -hmm. But our God, our God has no limits. If one can believe in him, you know, Jesus Christ could not perform a single miracle in his hometown. Mm -hmm. And he was surprised, not because of the problems of people, but he was surprised because of their lack of faith. Okay. We thank you for your testimony and viewers that have listened to this. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ and God Amen. bless you. Amen.